All right, guys, even here a New York Pro is over, and this is your 212 division. A lot of people thought that some controversy happened here. Many people thought that Eduardo Correa was robbed, that he deserved this victory instead of Ahmad Ashkanani. And you can count myself one of them. So take a look at this. So far, it's pretty close. If you take a look at their legs, you can see that Ahmad's glutes are good, but pay attention to the quads. Compare his quads to Eduardo's quads. Not even close. Then they turn to the back. Indeed, Ahmad is super wide. His back is huge, his lats are super wide. But look at the details in the mid-back. I mean the whole back, the depth to it. Look at Eduardo's back, it's so much detailed. And the glutes, the definition in the glutes, the thickness of the glutes. Night and day difference, night and day. So even though Ahmad may be wider, I think Eduardo destroys him from the back. The same thing goes with uh, rear lat spread. Sure, Ahmad is wider, but where is the detail? In the mid traps, the rhomboids, the lats, still very blurry, very blurry. He was watery. He is bigger, for sure, but he was not in better conditioning, not by a long shot. And pay attention to the legs here. Look at Eduardo's quads. This is one of the best Eduardo Correa I ever seen. Really good conditioning, really good. As far as upper body from the front, his arms are kind of short and smaller, and he doesn't have the wee taper. So from that standpoint, you can say that Ahmad is better, but look at the abs. Ahmad's abs are much more blurry, and the quads, it's not even a comparison. Ahmad's legs, especially the quads, are much, much weaker. If you look at most muscular, sure, maybe Ahmad is bigger, but the definition that Eduardo has is new level, another level, I mean, completely different from Ahmad, much better. And the quads, same thing. Front double bicep pose, because of the wee taper, you may say Ahmad is better, but you cannot ignore the legs. Look at those quads. It's a huge difference. How did they let him win? With these blurry abs, with small legs, with blurry back, so much water retention, Eduardo was sharp. He was very, very sharp. But yeah, this guy is bigger and has better lats, basically. That's pretty much it. Everything else, I would go with Eduardo. I think he deserved this victory. As well as I think Akim didn't deserve second place, he deserved third place because of the conditioning. Conditioning is very important, but apparently not that much. Apparently size is more important, but what do I know? Let's take a look at the back double bicep once again, so pay attention now. And tell me, tell me in the comment section below, who has better back double bicep? Just pay attention to the details and the depth, Jesus Christ. And look at the glutes. I mean, Eduardo is destroying him in this pose. And back lat spread, yeah, the sheer width and the, the, the muscle mass goes with Ahmad, but look at the details, look at the conditioning, look at the depth of glutes and back and legs. Look at the sweep of the, of the quads. I mean, I'm not that kind of person that thinks politics happen, especially not on these kind of stages, this is top level, but I think this happened today. I don't know what is the reason behind this, but look at the legs, look at the legs, compare them. I don't know what happened here. And finally, they realized, the judges realized that this black dude is not going to be second place or first. He looked great. He had great legs, but he was not better than Eduardo. Look at the legs. The, the legs and the abs now. Eduardo is the sharpest one by far. So now when they realize what happened, now they're going to compare these two guys. And in my opinion, he should have won it. But he didn't. He didn't, unfortunately. He held best second place. The black guy took third place. Amazing shape, but not as well conditioning, and he had some horrible gyno. So look at now, when they're closer together. Look at the definition, the, the legs and the, the conditioning. And look at it now. Look at this photo, HD photo. Now you can see it even better. I mean, look at the details in the traps, in the lower back, and the glutes, and the quad sweep. The overall leg mass. I have no idea how did this guy win this show, but it is what it is, guys. Tell me in the comment section below what you think about this. Who do you think deserved to win it? In my opinion, the robbery happened. Back double bicep and front double bicep poses are the most important ones, because they show a lot of muscle. And now take a look at these two. Take a look at back double bicep and front double bicep. I mean, front double bicep, look at the blurriness that he has in his abdominal region. And also the legs, the size of the legs, the conditioning from the back, on the back, on the glutes. Basically, head to toe, 
Eduardo was better. I think he deserved to win. But it didn't happen, more like next time, what can I say? Anyways, tell me in the comment section below what do you think about this? Is this a robbery or not? Maybe you think Ahmad deserved to win. Anyways, like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel. All the best guys, bye bye.